For me, gender has been a journey, and that journey began in childhood, at a time when gender existed only as a binary description. So growing up, I didn't understand why something felt wrong. Eventually, in adulthood, that language existed, and I came to understand why I've always felt that I'm a woman, because I am. I eventually learned that that is called transgender. I eventually had the courage to say that out loud to myself, to my community, and eventually to begin a journey of changing my body to match my gender identity. In that journey, I interviewed a variety of surgeons who would be capable of helping me accomplish what I wanted to achieve. That's when I met Dr. Heidi Wittenberg. It's really difficult for my patients to share their stories. They've gone through a long journey. Um, they've had many hoops and steps to go through to even get to see a surgeon. I'm one of the endpoints, even though I'm a small blip on their radar. It is a year recovery for my surgeries. And this surgery has all their hopes of their future health and happiness piled into it with triggers and traumas from their past experiences. Even patients who are out long-term still have difficulty talking about their journeys and their stories. Being transgender is not something that is very welcome. Being transgender has been demonized. We've been hunted, literally. We've been ostracized. Our rights have been denied. So sharing a story about something so deeply intimate and so deeply personal is scary. This is a underserved, underprivileged subset of patients that needed advocating for. And St. Francis has become a hub of specialists and we want to create a center of excellence for this care and welcome these patients where they have been turned away uh, and not given access to medical care elsewhere. We need these centers. We need St. Francis Gender Institute because caring for people who are on a journey with their own gender is an incredibly intimate, complicated, personal experience. For an entire medical team to truly appreciate the complexities of gender and understand how profoundly important every single interaction is in the health and care of people on journeys with their gender. I'm here to help you and make you happy. And once you know what makes you happy, then I can help you with that. And the gender confirmation surgeries are just to help you match and align yourself to what your true identity is and what you should have been born with. So once you know what that is, that's where I come in to help. Gender is an incredibly complicated topic. It is identity and expression and culture and socialization. And if your gender identity and your body don't match, there's opportunities to fix that. So often people ask, why did you do it? I invite you to hold your breath. Keep holding it, keep holding it. Eventually you take a breath. And to you I ask, why did you breathe? I had no choice. I had to do this. I had to live authentically.